Pat Hindle with Microwave Journal, and I'm here at IMS 2018 with Scott Kennedy of Rogers Corporation. So, Scott, you've introduced some new PTFE uh, laminate products for antennas. Can you tell us about those? Sure, Pat. Um, so, the first product we just recently released is AD300D. It's a fourth generation product in the AD300 grade. Um, the product is a well controlled dielectric constant, low loss performance, good pin performance, and excellent processability solution. It's actually a cost performance solution. Um, with a unique construction and unique chemistry and processing uh, approach that allows us to offer a very cost-effective high-performance antenna solution for the customers. It has uh, excellent properties. If you'd like to know, dielectric constant 2.94 plus or minus 0 0.05, low loss performance of 0021 at 10 gigahertz. It has excellent peel strength, 18.3 PLI, quite high, using our reverse street copper. Pin performance is uh, minus one, 159 dBc at 30 mil, which is actually really good for the market. And uh, it's uh, well controlled. It has a low z-axis CTE of about 93 ppm, which is excellent for processing uh, playing through holes in antenna boards. And uh, we're real happy with it. It's a good product for us. Excellent. So can you tell us how that fits into your portfolio of products for antennas? Sure. Yeah, the 8300 series has been a very successful product grade for Rogers. Uh, the, the D series is going to be a more advanced version of that, which I explained has excellent properties. Um, it, in the PTFE world, it's probably the best PTFE solution we have. So it fits nicely with, it complements the rigid material we have with RO4000 series. And now we have an excellent PTFE solution to offer the market. So we, we feel like we cover all the bases with the rigid material needs and the soft clad PTFE solutions. Oh, it's great that you have yeah. a broad portfolio there. Absolutely, yeah. So can you tell yeah. us what trends you're seeing in the antenna market? Sure. The, uh, the market right now is uh, really calling for uh, better PIM performance, which actually will lead me to the next answer on, on the new product we introduced called IM Series. Uh, so, you know, we address the PIM advancements in PIM with a new introdu newly introduced IM Series product line, uh, which is really an IM Series cladding solution on our already successful 8300D, 8255C, and DieClad 880 products. So this IM cladding solution is an ultra low profile electro deposited copper foil that's uh, about 0.5 micron roughness. It's about half the, the roughness of our standard oh, reverse street yeah. ED copper. And that really, really improves PIM. I mean, we have a 5 to 6 dB shift in PIM. So the nominal PIM performance is about minus 165 or 166 dBC as opposed to the 159 I was just explaining to you. So that shift in PIM really enables uh, uh, you know, designers to move away from their limits and have uh, you know, improved yield. The standard deviation of the PIM distribution is very, very tight. So when we produce, we're finding, as fabricators produce circuits, uh, it, there are more uh, yield improvements that they see. So it's not just shifting the nominal, but actually reducing the low PIM products that come out of it. So it's really, really important. And I think it's gonna be a big win in the antenna market. Great, well, we thank you very much for talking to us today okay. at IMS 2018. Thanks, Ben.